Hello unicorns and welcome back to another episode of me talking about beauty and makeup and such. So today I wanted to talk about this brand, Saucebox Cosmetics, and this was waiting for me when I got home. And may I just say, Mac, hold on to your motherfucker. sorry, Mac, hold on to your panties because I mean, immediately I'm seeing vanilla, I'm seeing carbon, I'm seeing a lot of MAC similarities. I'm seeing larger pan size and this whole thing, a double decker magnetic where these came individually, 30 bucks, $30. I mean, you can't even get one MAC four by four for that. So yeah. Also, I have a new little saying, please subscribe and get on the arc with me and my other subscribers. Let's grow our little unicorn arc so we can be truly unique unicorns and prance around and play with makeup and talk about stuff. Also, uh, be sure and leave comments because I am going to be having some goodies for commenters, which I'll talk about a little bit more. So for this, there wasn't a particular look I was going after. I just wanted to give my first impressions on the Saucebox Etude palette. Um, I know I featured their little uh, Art Nouveau palette in a couple of looks. So very good brand. Uh, yeah, so follow me and let's talk about makeup. I am so excited to do this video like I am every video, but just Today was an interesting day. I didn't wear any makeup today because I took the clients um, through a on a walk through the park and smeared myself in sunscreen. But when I got home, this was waiting for me. It's by a brand called Saucebox. And let me just tell you, Mac, hold on. Someone's coming for you. This is what I received from Saucebox. Now I do have another smaller palette from Saucebox. This is a magnetic refillable palette. And I'm not being like sponsored or anything to do this. I am literally seeing what Max should have been my entire life. So let's get into these shades and see if I'm right about that. All right, so I'm just doing a really kind of simple face prep. Um, I did my normal skin tint over the entirety of my face. And then I want to do just a little bit of highlighting under my eyes, which isn't something I do often, but I have a damp beauty blender here and I have my Kat Von D locket in whiteout. So why not really go all the way in showing off these colors. I also noticed that Huda Beauty put out a like a foolproof baking kit and you know if anyone is into baking that might be something that you're into. Um, I don't I don't just I just don't like the feeling of baking. Um, I think baking is a little bit more for uh, younger men and women just because I can feel it chalking up and I am you know, getting to the latter portion of my 20s and my skin isn't as elastic as it used to be. So basically, this is an amazing brand and I have one highly pigmented palette from them that I picked up and this is their Etude. So it's a double, well, it's the Etude shades in a double decker, kind of like a Z palette. So the bottom is empty and in the top came all of these and they were individually packaged. And I really didn't know what they looked like before I got them. I just noticed that it was a very beautiful theme, like color scheme. I didn't realize that I was going to be getting eight very large shades. So that's the pan size, well over an inch. It's definitely deep if I can get one out and show you. I mean, that's a lot of product. And the funny thing is I'm seeing vanilla, I'm seeing black tracks, I'm seeing carbon in here, I'm seeing some MAC shades, and I just wanna see if they perform like MAC shades. So instead of doing like a focused look in which I try and, you know, uh, do a, an icon or something like that, I'm just gonna pull out some fun brushes and see if this brand really is what it's saying, or it's not even claiming to be MAC, I'm just seeing that. So I'm gonna dip into the white color. There is a little bit of fallout, but a lot of pigment. And this is also a very loose brush. And I'm just gonna sweep that across the lid. These are all very matte shades. Um, the only downside that I'm seeing so far is that the fallout in a magnetic case might get messy, but the fallout is pretty well contained to the little, the little pan. So I also want to let you guys know to tune in this weekend, I'm going to be doing my first makeup challenge and it's something that I can really get behind. It's kind of like a dollar store challenge, only I'm going to be doing a jail makeup challenge. I did not wear jail makeup because by the time I got to prison and I was interested in that kind of thing, I mean, you can buy Maybelline and that kind of stuff there, but I still know how to do it. 
Um, and when I ended up going to county jail for a short stay after that, I did dabble in the makeup. So I'm going to be going all out, colored pencil, I'm going to be making concealer, I'm going to be making foundation, I'm going to be making eyeshadow and eyeliner, all out of stuff that you can get off commissary. So mostly food and art supplies. So with that white shade I just coated, and I want to go in with a kind of neutral I'm gonna do a neutral garnet eye. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. They don't have names as far as I know. I'm just doing this on a little angled mica brush. And I'm just gonna push that in the crease very lightly. Let's do a smoky kind of look with this. Um, I'm picking up a lot more pigment and a lot more payoff than with MAC in general. I'm not a huge MAC fan but I know that to get the kind of pigment that I love and expect from MAC, not to mention the shades, you either have to spend a ton of money or like really go in. And that's just kind of an attitude I've always had towards MAC, um, not my favorite. But back in the day, they were it. And some of their colors are still iconic. You know, vanilla is still gonna be one of the best base shades you can get, but this color here, which reminds me of a MAC shade I'm forgetting the name of, the warm almondy color, it's definitely giving me a blending surface. So I'm gonna actually switch to a little bit more of a precision technique, grabbing some scone brushes and some Morphe's, and going in with this next darkest brown right here. So it's kind of a cool tone brown, and I wanna see what it does in the crease. So with my M321, I'm just gonna carve out the socket. And I mean, that was one little dip in the pan. It's just kind of astounding how similar these are to MAC shades, but much less expensive, larger, more payoff. Um, I believe the total cost for the palette and the eight shades that they sent was $30 which, I mean, let's say you were to buy a quad from MAC, you would get four of these. Let's say you wanted to get two quads from MAC, you're looking at about $48 to get these same colors. If you were to get a palette that was like this, depending on whether you got it used or new, and you know, whether it was on sale, whether it was brand new, you're definitely talking $40, $50 easily. So for the price point, this is pretty on point. So I'm just gonna continue kind of pulling that up and I'm gonna continue blending those transition shades. So after just a soft blending, I have a nice little transition with a smoky crease. Now, I do wanna say that I'm aware MAC sells more than just eyeshadows, but I also feel like MAC has definitely faded into obscurity just because there are so many indie brands coming out that are so unique and can offer you know, the same or better at a lower price point. That's definitely something to consider. So I wanna see how these powders hold up to crease cutting. So what I'm going to do is build this in with a dark, smoky kind of look. So I'm just gonna take the black in the palette and start smoking that out. And this is gonna take some time. These are very pigmented, they blend very well. That's what I can say right now. And aside from the initial one with the white one, I haven't had much more fallout, just in the black, which I'm still playing with. So I'm gonna blend this out and let you know what I think. I'm really loving this eyeshadow palette. With you. So let's jump right into that red. Let's do it. I'm actually going to use my Scone Small Shadow Brush and just kind of pack it in there and see what this pigment is really worth. Oh, wow. Okay. Very similar to the color Lolita from Kat Von D with just a hint of brown. So it's actually not a red at all. It's a brownie kind of cranberry very nice color so I can see where they yeah their their palette scheme definitely makes sense these colors work together they complement each other and they blend into each other beautifully obviously they're heavy pigment mattes I think it might take just a little bit to get the pigment to pop but I'm liking this muted look so I'm going to continue filling that in and building up the pigment and then I have an idea to use some of these on other areas of my face. So I just amped up the intensity a little bit on those colors, drew on a wing 
and then reintegrated that cut in the color, which I probably didn't need to do. These colors do a good job of blending, but they also keep separate. They play in their own play pens, and I like that. So I just wanna do a little bit of a smoky under thing and just blend that on up. Clean up some of that concealer and stuff. My face is a little messed up from touching it. And I mean, this stuff blends, it really does. There's a little bit of a messiness here. I don't want it to go too far up, but this is a very large blending brush, definitely not a detailed one. And it's definitely incorporating it into my wing. So that's nice. Now, another little test. I'm gonna take that white color again on my pinky and do a kind of forced blend by using my finger. That's one way to like be sure your eyeshadow is blended is you use your finger. Cause So I'm happy with it. It's a good brand. But I really wanted to see if these would work in other ways because they're fairly large pigments. I mean, big. So let's grab, oh, I don't want to use my highlight brush though. Let's grab contour brush. And this is just, this is a Morphe B14. Um, and I'm just going to go into that, I'm going to go into the peanut butter shade. Oh wow, it's very pigmented, but that's nice. And it's a very dense brush. Oh my gosh. Clean up, clean up, come on. I guess it's a good thing I didn't dip into the really dark shade. So that was like what I was thinking first. So I'm gonna have to clean that up a little. Otherwise, cut. Just using the left over there. And now I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffy brush and dip into that white and see if I can't do a little bit of a natural highlight. That way I can tone that down too. That actually feels like a like a setting powder on my skin almost. So it's a little it's a little intense, but that's okay. We're doing an intense look today. So I'm gonna top off with oh no! That's what I wanted to do very gently. I'm going to tap into this mauve shade just to see how it really blends. Because I mean, on your cheek, you can see. Definitely not a bad blend, like considering I'm using really dense pigment eyeshadow as a blush for some reason, because I do that kind of thing. I guess on that side, it didn't blend out super well, but it was just an experiment. Eh, no, it gave some light, some life to my face. It definitely did. A little dark, but it's okay. We'll go for a dark look. All right, so I'm gonna finish off my face and then final thoughts, talk about the giveaway and such. So I finished off my face with just a little dusting of powder, a little bit of lip color and um, my final impressions are, Mac, I think you better step it up because this is a great product. Um, as far as my first review on this channel, um, I'm glad it was a good product. <laughs> so I have something else that I would really like to talk about, which is um, how much these videos really mean to me. I understand that I'm a very small channel, but I feel like there's so much support coming in the comments and from my subscribers. And um, I really wanna thank you guys for that. So you guys give me the motivation to come downstairs into my little makeshift studio and play with makeup and feel beautiful. And it that, that means something, it really does. So um, from here on out, um, I know why am I saying um so much? But anyway, so from here on out, I selected a uh, comment that really like stood out to me and meant a lot. And I, I decided to offer her, um, well, I wanted to send her a palette to review for me. So 
Uh, this isn't like a ploy to get more subscribers. My giveaways kind of are just being totally transparent. I'm not one who's going to lie to you. Um, I want to grow. I want to be a big channel. But um, I would love to start picking people in the comments to send products to. Um, the fact is that I was blessed um, with the means to enjoy makeup um, despite the transgressions of my past and I want to share that with people I really do so uh, leave me a comment let me know what kind of makeup you like what you enjoy what you would like to see maybe or maybe something about your own uh, struggles with uh, self-image addiction that kind of thing because that really is the foundation of my channel and then the beauty part has just sprung forth so let me know that I also would like to maybe send some dolls kill stuff out you know playing with some sex little outfits that kind of thing so just let me know if uh, what your thoughts are about that all of you collectively as a community we are still doing the Kat Von D giveaway and the Jeffree Star giveaway will start after that one but I still want to give back to you guys so um, don't be surprised if a comment gets picked and I end up shooting you my private email address like ugh, that sounds I mean that sounds weird on YouTube but like I, I want to give back to you guys. I really do. So, um, Sophia, thank you so much for that comment. It meant a lot. And I hope you enjoy the um, product I've sent you to review for me, which is the Violet Boss Palette. So, um, that's going to keep happening. This channel is going to keep happening. As long as you guys are here, I am damn sure going to show up in front of these lights and put on makeup, even if I can only do a certain kind of look right now i'm gonna keep experimenting come what may and saturday is gonna be a lot of fun when i do my uh gel makeup challenge so i also have a new little phrase which is get on the arc instead of subscribe like or you know join the family come and be a vintage unique unicorn with me and we'll all prance about on the arc and play with makeup and blend out of the lines and break all the makeup rules and be fierce and fantastic so thank you guys so much you guys make this happen Mwah.